Hi everyone, my name is Thais. Welcome to today's tech tip. Uh, so today is going to be a short one. It's just an update in an existing tool. For the latest build, uh, which is 8675, we have an update in our uh, split markers. As most of you know, let me zoom in in my wall here. So the split markers, we usually use them in case we need to create more than one panel in one Revit wall. So that would allow us to create several MWF panels within the same Revit wall. But as we know, um, or most of us know, that command, uh, that option didn't work with multi-layer MWF panels. So it wouldn't split the sheeting in that case. And you would have to physically split the Revit wall in able to create several panels in that case. So for multi-layer, it was not possible for you to have several panels within one Revit wall. Uh, so now we've added this functionality. So again, uh, it is available in the latest build, 8675. And uh, what you can do in this case is just use the split markers as usual. You can either use one of these options under markers to place them in your walls. So it could be either the by wall option, by rule or by benchmarks. So it doesn't matter what's the method you are using. The other option could, uh, would be to just go ahead and scroll down in your project browser and find your structural connection families. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you would see MWF break horizontal. And that would be uh, where those families are located. So you could just simply select and drag it to your wall and you can place it manually. So that could be another method too. Uh, so after the splits are placed in your wall, if I select my wall here, I can go ahead and quick create for that uh, location here where I have already my split markers. So we have this wall type here, MWF LGS six inches. So let me just go to settings here and I will show you that that wall is already mapped. I've just added the default uh, template to the structure and gypsum template to my finish. And for the interior side substrate, I just added the default uh, sheeting, which could be, let's say, the plywood. And now we can go ahead and quick create. So I'm going to go here to operations and just hit quick create. So now, as you can see, all of my panels are created and they are split where I have my split markers. So if I zoom in in here, I can see that I have a uh, panel 355. It's topping where my split mark is, uh, the sheeting as well. And then after that, I have the next panel. Sheeting is also splitting at that location. Uh, it's panel 360, uh, uh, 56. And this behavior will continue through all my Revit wall. And if we look at a, on a 3D view, we can also see that we have our several panels here and also the sheeting. 